Hi, I'm Terry McCall. I'm the mountain bike editor at Canadian Cycling Magazine, and we're here with the Cervelo ZHT5. This is Cervelo's first mountain bike. It follows closely on the heels of their Aspero gravel bike. This bike was made for the Yumbo Visma World Tour team. Uh, they normally race on the road, but their uh, athlete Milan Vader wanted something to race when the Man Bike World Cup returns to his home in the Netherlands to kick off the 2023 season. As you can see, it is a hardtail and it is very much a race bike. Cervelo has decided on something between classic and kind of progressive geometry for the ZHT5. It has a bit longer reach depending on what size you're riding, but it still has a relatively steep 69 degree head tube angle. Cervelo offers two models of the ZHT5. This is the top end model with SRAM XX1 axis. It's also got reserve carbon 28 rims from uh, Cervelo's kind of sister company. It's also running the RockShox SID race day 100 mil travel fork. Uh, neither of the bikes Cervelo offer come with a dropper post, but you can run one if you want. So Cervelo's ZHT5 looks like a lot of other cross-country hardtails. Instead of trying to come up with a unique or kind of splashy design, they've just decided to refine and do a better version of the cross-country race bike. Using their experience from World Tour Road Racing, Cervelo decided that you don't have to have the stiffest possible frame or the lightest possible frame. The ZHT5 is very light, but they admit that it's not the lightest on the market, and it is very stiff, but it's also not unreasonably or unproductively stiff. The result is a race hardtail that is responsive, is light, climbs like anything, uh, but isn't overly harsh and carries a bit more speed over, uh, over bumps, over trail than you might expect from a cross-country hardtail. We've had the ZHT5 out on the trails here in Victoria, BC for the last few weeks. It's what you would expect from a cross-country race hardtail. It is snappy, it's responsive, and it climbs really fast. Cervelo decided to try to find a sweet spot between uh, the lightest possible and the stiffest possible frame. So it has thinner chain stays, very thin seat stays, and that gives it a slightly more forgiving ride over roots and rocks and the things that you find on a cross country course. Uh, having a rigid post instead of a dropper post in the narrow race face next SL bars uh, might add a little bit more flex into that build. The last thing about the ZHT5 is the price. Uh, in Canada, this bike is $11,500. It is out of the box, a World Cup ready cross country race bike that is basically what the team's gonna ride, uh, but that is a lot of money. Uh, there is also the GX Axis version of the ZHT5, which comes with different wheels, uh, still wireless shifting with GX from SRAM, uh, but it comes in at nearly half the price at 6,500 bucks. So if you're a diehard Cervelo fan that has been waiting for the brand to release a mountain bike, or if you're looking for a no holds barred cross country race hardtail, uh, the ZHT5 is a interesting option for both of those.